Acupuncture is the modality of placing hair-thin needles under the dermis layer of the skin to create a nervous response. It helps with increasing blood circulation, which helps improve everything from your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being. I'm Janae, and I'm getting an acupuncture procedure done today. This is definitely my first holistic treatment experience. I consider myself to be a little bit of a skeptic. People have told me to get acupuncture because I've been suffering from insomnia for as long as I can remember. Like after I went through puberty pretty much, I am just like an anxious person by nature. Also I get allergies that I've never gotten before in my whole entire life. I've just gone through a lot in the past year or so, everyone has, and this opportunity came for me to do something for myself. So I'm gonna like shake off the skepticism. I'm going to open my mind and I'm really excited about this, especially if it has some positive results and it actually works, then amazing. <laughs> I'm Mona Dan, founder of V Healing and practicing acupuncturist in LA. I studied Chinese medicine, about a four and a half year program, and have been in practice with V Healing now for about 10 years. And it became really my mission to one, create a really safe space for real medicine of our sort, but also to give a position for acupuncturists that really want to be proud of where they work and what they're doing. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to open the capillaries, increase oxygenation in the body, get the blood circulation and get things flowing. Okay. I focus on master tongue treatments, so this is an ancient technique. Okay. So what it is, is we do a polarity treatment. So imagine like you pull a rubber band back, it goes further, mm -hmm. the same thing. We want to go to the furthest point of your body mm -hmm. to get the blood flow to come all the way down and then shoot up back to the main part of your body, which is your organ system. Perfect. And then you'll get a nice little reset. Wonderful. Okay. The thought of having a bunch of needles sticking out of your body, it sounds terrifying. Like, it sounds absurd. Why would someone do this to themselves? But people have been doing it for such a long time that there's got to be something there. So I'm not worrying about all of the needles that are going to be poking out of me, but thinking about how it's going to help me in the long run. Janae told us today that she had difficulty staying asleep. So we're gonna be focusing on the liver and the gallbladder, supporting her hormones to help her with her menstrual cycle so they're not as painful, and also to keep the blood circulating throughout her body to keep her body relaxed. I will start by needling the area of tension, which is her back, but I'm gonna be doing it on her legs. We have tendons within our body that directly communicate with different areas of our body. So top treats bottom, bottom treats top, left treats right, and right treats left. It's called a polarity treatment. So because her scapular area is in pain, I'm gonna be around the lower aspect of her knee, the lateral side aspect, and we're gonna be placing the hair thin needles right into the tendon lines of her body. What happens is our two nervous systems, the parasympathetic, which relaxes us, and the sympathetic, which excites us, need stimulation to kind of level out and balance out. A lot of times, our parasympathetic nervous system that's there to relax us, help process emotions, food, the list goes on, goes to sleep, and then we're in this fight-flight mode and we're just like frantic through life. So with the insertion of the stainless steel needles, our body responds to it because it's a foreign object. The water in our body responds to the metal, creating a different flow of electricity in our body, creating a beautiful nervous system reset. So as I put the needle into the tendon area that I feel the most tightness, what's gonna happen is Janae should feel a little bit of a sensation, a different sensation in the scapular region where she's feeling the tightness and tension. So I'm gonna ask her how she's feeling as I stimulate these points. Okay, so move your shoulders while I'm doing this. Tell me if you feel relief. It feels a little warm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Blood flow. Okay, cool. Perfect. That's so great. She told us that she's feeling warmth, which is perfect because that means the blood is circulating to the right area. 
I'm gonna also do points on the spleen channel, which helps support blood flow. Put some needles in the liver corresponding area and also the kidney area to support her hormones and her adrenals because I'm noticing a lot of symptoms that show that there are signs of adrenal fatigue. I'm gonna match a point on her hand to match the liver point on her toes. This is a nice little nervous system reset. The two points are the furthest points from the nervous system, so we're just gonna stimulate them. After I'm done with her hand, I'm gonna pop to the center of her chest to calm her heart. Move up to her forehead to relax her mind. Add a few needles in for beauty because we all need that. And top off with a point on top of the head called Do 20 to bring clear energy to the mind so that she's thinking clearly and feeling relaxed. With V-Healing, we just came out with our new light therapy. It's based off NASA technology. Light therapy helps with penetrating different vibrational energies below the skin level. Red light helps with inflammation, increasing blood circulation. So we're gonna have her relax a little bit under the red light today so that she gets an extra boost of blood circulation. I like to leave the needles in for a little bit over 26 minutes. So I round off to 30 minutes so the patient has a nice amount of time to relax and to get their blood flow going and for their body to respond nicely to the needles and that way the patient can really take their time to soak up all the healing and relax. So now we're going to gently remove the needles. The needles we use are disposable hair thin needles. So we get rid of them after the first use. They're usually about two inches long and we penetrate the skin about an inch depending on the area. If it's a bony area, then we just put very little bit in. If there's more room, we kind of go in deeper. It really depends on the patient. In Chinese medicine, we say that when we see blood, it feels like a window opened and you get a fresh breeze internally in the body. Really only few points do hurt. Your practitioner should have really good communication with you and tell you what points they are that will be a little more sensitive. So Janae, that was your first acupuncture session. What's gonna happen is you're gonna feel pretty good for three days. Your shoulders are gonna be nice and loose. You should sleep better tonight. If you feel like it starts wearing off after three days, then we would wanna see you maybe twice a week in the beginning. Okay. But we can de definitely develop a treatment plan once you kind of check in with us and tell us how you're feeling. Wonderful, awesome. Thank you so much. For My that. pleasure. <sighs> All right, that felt pretty good, actually. I feel relaxed. That was definitely surprising, and I feel surprisingly well about it. It was a lot of anticipation, but actually getting the procedure was very relaxing. Moto was great. She was very informative, and I have a lot more information, so I think maybe I was a little bit more nervous than I needed to be. Janae was great. She was so good at communicating what she knows and what she doesn't know, what she needs and what she may not know she needs, which is the perfect patient for me. Um, I love giving some education, some background, some information about what we do, how we do it, and how it helps. And I feel like she was soaking it all in. I didn't really feel the initial prick of the needle when it was going in. But after it was in for a while, I definitely started to feel it. I could tell where it was on my body and I could tell actually where it was on two parts of my body. So that was very surprising. There were two in particular that I did feel. Um, one was the one that was directly on the center of my head. I felt it and then I felt a whole bunch of sensation in my head, which was so weird. The other one that I felt was on my leg, the first one that she actually positioned that was in my tendon and directly connected to my shoulder. Um, I felt that one go in and then I actually felt warmth in my right shoulder, which was bizarre. Aftercare for acupuncture, really you wanna follow what your body wants. Some people might leave feeling really tired 
and super relaxed. And for those people, I suggest that they go home and rest or at least try to rest throughout the day. If you have a lot of energy after your session, that's great. Your body's ready to go. I would suggest keeping your body warm, a warm bath, keep yourself hydrated, but you can do everything and anything after your sessions. You can eat, you can go to the gym, you can relax, you can go for a run. Just listen to what your body wants and kind of follow the flow of your body. So the most painful area that I had coming in to um, the procedure was my shoulders. There was a lot of tightness and a lot of just being uncomfortable. And now the area feels warm and loose and that um, there's not as much pain when I move it around, whereas there was pain and tension before, even if I would just like lift my shoulders a little bit. A lot of people have a misconception that with acupuncture, they'll get the relief later, but they can actually definitely get it in the treatment room with us. It's always so incredible seeing the patient have quick relief and release. A session usually lasts about 15 minutes of intake, five to 10 minutes of needling, and 20 to 30 minutes of needle time. Please only go to a licensed acupuncturist um, for your acupuncture needling. I do think I'll get acupuncture again. I'm really interested to see what the effects are after this time. If I get home and I feel amazing, I'm definitely going to want to do this again for sure.